Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Even if it is equivalent, I will still pay them something in the pounds. Right in a different currency. So this allows us that allowance plan profile allows us to do exactly that. So let me create one allowance plan profile and I will say, okay, it is 1200 USD. For what? Country right. Let's take so for America. Correct. This is the same eligibility rule that we use for our compensation grade profile as well. Isn't it? So here I'm saying, okay, if you are in the US, you're going to get $1,200. And if you are in my, if you are in UK, you're going to get 900 pounds. Okay. And so what will be the eligibility rule? Country, United Kingdom, understood that if you are in the U.S., you will get $1,200 a month. If you are in the U.K., you are going to get £900. Well, again over here we can add departments or... Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So let's say, only people of the IT department. Or maybe if you are an IT department, and in the U.S., you get $1,200. If you are in the sales department, and in the U.K., you get £900. Yes, you can combine multiple eligibility rules, or in one eligibility rule as well. You can combine multiple conditions, multiple rule conditions. This is a simple, straightforward rule, right? country. In other things, the means that your country is UK. That's what it means. But if you want to make it a bit more realistic, or maybe a bit more complicated, yes, you can put in more conditions in one rule, or you can add multiple rules here as well. Okay. Eligibility rules. You are flexible in using eligible rules. You can use multiple conditions in one eligibility criteria. Okay. Now here there is something called as plan eligibility. What does this specify? And how is it different from the eligibility rule that we have at the bottom of our screen in the plan profile? Why are these two different? This eligibility rule versus this eligibility rule. That's similar to what we have done in grade and grade profiles. Yes. Out of the entire population, who is exactly eligible to work? I mean subset kind of. Okay. So what does this number one specify? The plan eligibility. What is this plan eligibility? Number one, if I put in an eligibility rule there, what will that signify? Under the plan eligibility, this gives us the option to choose who should get it. Who should get what? Who should get this allowance? Yes, we should get this allowance. Who should get this allowance? That is what the plan eligibility will tell us. Let's say I want to do it only for managers or above. Okay. Only managers or above will get a car allowance. Let's say. 
So then my eligibility rule will say, managers or above. So all managers or above people like executive directors, directors, vice president, etc. Everybody is eligible for this particular car allowance. Okay. That is what this eligibility rule at the plan level will specify. Now will all the managers or above get the same amount, irrespective of their location? No, 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 no. And how do we specify that? If you are a manager in the U.S., what will you get? $200, right. If you are a manager or above in the U.K., what are you going to get? $900, right. That is why we use Allowance Plan Profile. So that is the same exact reason why we are going to use a Compensation Grid Profile. Right. So it allows us to give the same compensation grade to everybody, but then, depending on their location or maybe some other factors, we are able to actually assign them a different rate. Okay. That is what the grade profile is. Yeah. Yeah, the next matter. If you don't select the plan eligibility over there, write the eligibility rules over there. Why not? Why not? First, you have to be able to assign the plan to the worker. Isn't it? First, you assign the plan that, okay, you are going to get a car allowance. If you do not assign a plan eligibility, then they will not even get the car allowance. Understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that eligibility is important because without it, the employee will not even get this allowance. Now, what amount will it get? Will the employee get? Depends on what on the plan profile. Otherwise, if it doesn't meet any of this eligibility criteria, then they will get the default amount. Okay. So that's the high-level eligibility rules, and then we are breaking it up over here in the plan. Exactly. Let's let me finish. That is not mandatory. That is not mandatory. Okay. Is that mandatory? Because you can again put it as part of the package and you can directly assign it to the worker. But it is highly strongly recommended that you use the eligibility rules. Also, it is not mandatory. Now let's create an eligibility rule because in this system, we don't have one. So create comp eligibility rule. Okay. And let me create one called WW Managers or above. Okay. And what should be the source, external field or condition rule? If I want to do a managers or above. Management level. Management level. Correct. Management level compensation. Right. So I just use the word comp so that it finds it easily. And I will go to any in the selection list because I need to specify a list. Right if it's managers or above. So I will use six. Manager, Director, Vice President, Executive Vice President, and Chief Executive Officer. You see, this tenant is much cleaner. Right, it is much easier to work here. So Manager Director, Vice President, Executive, Vice President, CEO. These are the management levels that I want. 
okay. Now, now, if I am saying managers or above, do I create something which says non-managers? It makes sense. Right. It makes sense for a physical consistency. So let's create one more which says non-managers. I will just copy it here. And I will say non-managers. Right. And now again, if I do a non-managers, and what should I do? Again, management level, and then I select, uh, okay. Uh, once, which are not managers. Is there a way I can copy organization and to see your organization? No, no, that is there. That is it. But you see, I'm doing my non-managers. I want it to be very similar to the manager's rule that I created. Right. So you see, I can copy a condition from a rule. I can. I clicked. Okay, let me show you one more once, one more time, what magic I did in the copy condition from rule. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.